So on the 21st of February, as it already is well enunciated, the Minister of Finance is going to have to introduce a package of corrective steps so as to remediate the level of fiscal slippage that we've seen in the last year. And the level of fiscal slippage, I would argue, is unprecedented, at least when judged in nominal terms. The deficit after corrective steps amounting to about 51 billion rand. However, if we then account for free tertiary education, you find a further subsidence and certainly a relapse from the original February 2017 budget forecast to a still fairly weak um, budget balance combined with an inability to rein in spiraling indebtedness. In other words, by our judgment, the new deficit with free tertiary education does not arrest ever what has been for a length of time rising public sector indebtedness. It does not stabilize the debt to GDP ratio, put quite simply. So what's clear is that there's a monumental hurdle that will have to be overcome to not just reconcile the budget and narrow the deficit, but also to accommodate free tertiary education. Last year was a heavy and a very sizable increase in the additional tax burden that taxpayers would have to face. And we think it is going to be a similar uh, and a repetition of that experience this year. Just as a rule of thumb, historically, and it's a rather loose instance because we haven't had sufficient uh, data points to necessarily suggest that it is um, the norm, but we would find that tax increases or adjustment to taxes are more or less in the order of 15 billion rand. So it would suggest that what we've witnessed last year and what we could experience on the 21st of February in terms of the equilibrium tax burden rising would be about double what we would have been familiar with, especially in the earlier part of the decade. But also bear in mind, in the earlier part of the decade, we still enjoyed, or at least we went into the crisis of 08 or 09 with a budget surplus and a debt-to-GDP ratio of around 23%. In other words, we could accommodate imposing less tax burden on South African citizens because we still had fairly substantially healthy um, fiscal foundations, whereas now you, you know, you're basically in a position where your fiscal foundations have, have near collapsed. The budget balance is run away and has been running away for a length of time, combined with... Um, at an indebtedness level that is double your cyclical low from around 10 years ago. The additional tax burden is going to meaningfully erase especially high middle income and high income consumers' capacity. Put slightly more technically, before the impending tax cuts, we would argue that high income individuals could enjoy 2% real income growth in 2018. However, after the <coughs> potential for seismic increases in the tax burden, that could fall to a mere 0.5% of real income growth, comprom compromising the, the, the spending thrust that they could inject into the economy.